In this tutorial, I will show you how to link rotational and translational motion. Import background image and car image. Add two files to the composition. Adjust the size and position accordingly. I will split the car into three parts, two wheels and body. Duplicate car layer two times, we get three layers and name it wheel one, wheel two and car. Wheel one I only take the front wheel, wheel two only take the rear wheel. Select ellipse tool. Place the mouse in the center of the wheel, hold down CTRL and SHIFT, and draw a circle around the wheel. The next thing to do is to bring the wheel's anchor point to the center of the wheel. And of course, cars and wheels always have to go together. So I connected the position of the two wheels to the car. Create a null layer named controller. Like its name, its function is to control the car. Add slider control to the controller. Now I will link the rotation of the wheel with the slider of the controller, so that when the slider changes, the wheel will rotate. Hold down ALT and click on the stopwatch clock next to position. Link rotation to slider. I also link the X coordinate of the car with the slider. Right click on position. Select separate dimensions. Now just change the value of the slider, the car will run fine. One thing to keep in mind, if your wheels are too big or too small, they will need less rounds or more rotations to move a certain segment of the road. In other words, if you want the wheel to roll faster or slower, you can do so by multiplying the value in the expression rotation by one that is greater than or less than one. OK. We have finished. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, goodbye.